Of course, uh, when you look at the two so-called police officers, they look like they could be Hollywood stars to play like evil minions of a goblin or something. If you look at the two police officers who were tried, absolute bully little wimps. I mean, you look at them, they're little, they're weak, they're fat. And I'm not putting down little fat people. I'm a little overweight. The point is, is that you're not little and fat trying to go beat people up. There's nothing like a pack of wimps. Like, if I see really big, mean-looking cops, I think, oh, they're probably not going to cause a problem. For whatever reason, people that are powerful don't want to abuse their power, usually. Just that's the way it works. They're confident. They have too much pride. When I see a pack of weak-looking, uh, socialist-style cops, I mean, I get concerned. I get really, really, really concerned when I see a pack of little, short arm short-legged wimps. That, that are trying to act tough and trying to act evil. I immediately go, whoa, that's dangerous right there. And, and, and every fiber of me as a man, because I've seen countless of these videos, we could play them every day if we wanted to, but it's not even my goal to demonize the police. This stuff hurts me so much, I can't even look at it. They always beg for mommy and daddy. Of course, troops do that too a lot. I don't care how tough you are when your guts are blown out all over the ground and you're in excruciating pain. You know, you'll call out for who you love. You'll say, mom, dad. You'll call out for your brother or your sister. And the thing is, when these people call it for mom and dad, you see the cops getting off on it in like a sexual way. They're getting off on the torture, uh, on, on, on being sadist. And uh, this is what it's like to live in North Korea. I've seen the North Korean police, the way they act when they're grabbing people and doing stuff. I've seen the Chinese communist police, the way they look. I've seen film reels of Nazi police, the way they looked. It's the same thing you know, on a power trip all staring at you, a bunch of cowards, and you're down, and they get to be tough because they were bullies in school, and, but now men stood up to them and kicked their butt, so they went and became cops. I mean, I guarantee you could, you know, thugs like this, you could take 10 of them, I'd stomp every one of them into the ground. These people are completely, absolutely cowards, and I know their type. I know their punk type. I could beat the daylights out of 10 of those any day of the week. In fact, I challenge both of them to come to Austin in the ring with me, bare knuckles, or we'll go to Vegas or wherever it's legal. Right now, I ch in fact, I challenge for charity, for children's charity. I challenge both of them at the same time to a bare knuckles match. But they won't do it because they know what I'd do in that ring. Savagely explode, take them both down in seconds. The point is, is that people like that make me want to throw up because they're the enemy of this country and the enemy of humanity, and I'm sick of it. And I'm tired of people like that, having their way with little weak people pinned down on the ground, squeezing their life out of them. A bunch of cowards. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to sit here and act tough and stuff. I start flipping out when I think about this stuff. The point is, is that I'm serious. I, I want to give them an open invitation. If they think they're so tough, we'll go to Vegas. I've got the connections. If, if my connections, the UFC will put it on, I'll get in the ring with both of them. And I'm not even a boxer. I want in the ring with both of them, bare knuckles in Las Vegas. Come on, cowards, both of you. Let's go in the ring right now. Right now, cowards. But you won't do that, will you? No, 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 no. You're justified in the hospital and all of it went along with you. It's unbelievable how these people operate and what they're up to and what they do. It is absolutely disgusting. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Out of my way, out of my day, out of your mind and into my head. It's a no one, it's a not one, it's a your step, but out of time. It's strong, what's wrong? I've already heard this song before. The great threat to our families, our providence, our well-being, our wealth, our fortune is tyranny. We've seen it thousands of times throughout history. And it is rising its ugly head yet again, ladies and gentlemen. And they have that look of they've got something to prove. They're not really men. They're not really tough. They're, they're wimps. There's nothing worse than a wimp trying to be a man. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing worse than that. And... I'm sick of it.
And I'm calling them out at this, the base level of this sick cult that the police have become, just like every other third world country, of how they're above the law and they're great. We don't need no laws. We don't need no stinking law around here. We can do whatever we want. Ain't that right, Enos? <laughs> yeah, that's right, boss. That's right. You show them. You show them. America's land of the slave. Now if cops see a glint of a pen in your hand, they shoot you. Because it's all instinctive shooting, like a video game. And so now, they're just every day you read about some old man, some old woman, some kid. Kids on a b bicycle. Uh, they see a gleam. It's their cell phone. Cop shoots them. It's like, well, he felt threatened. Well, I mean, potentially any citizen could hurt a cop, so why not execute everyone who's not a cop? Tell them, do it. If you feel threatened anyway, kill everybody. I hate watching the slow death of this country and the slow death and the dumbing down of people and people giving up their individuality and their dignity and becoming collective borgs and the stinking, corrupt, banker-run government that they think is giving them stuff because they care about you. Stop feeling like you don't have power. Stop feeling pathetic and weak. Break out of your television-induced trance. It starts with a war growl. It starts with getting fired up, staring at yourself in the mirror and showing some teeth and saying, I'm a human being, I have dignity, I'm going to resist, I'm going to start recognizing the propaganda, I'm going to break free from it, I'm not going to fight with my family, I'm going to organize with my family and realize we're under attack by the social engineers, and I'm not going to fight with my neighbors, we're going to organize, humanity's going to come together. Ah! Ah! We know we're under attack, we know it, we're breaking the conditioning! Ah! Deal with it! Become a human again! Stop being weak! We got a bunch of criminals coming down on us! God! Ugh. Murdering scum! I want to get humanity awake! I want to get our forces up! And then I want to bring these people to justice! And you know what I mean! You know what I mean! I want to unleash humanity! Not have a bunch of con artists, pot-bellied, chicken-neck! Pieces of garbage running our world!